nice to see you. Good to see you, Chase too. Chase Rice. I'm, I'm, All right. I'm, I'm upset. She just took my drink, and I'm not <laughs> happy about it. I'm like, I've been on this carpet for an hour, and you take my drink? That's not cool. You're the only one I've seen with a drink so far. Yeah, that's because I have the best tour manager in the business. If there's a tour manager of the year award, John Lassard deserves it, I promise. There you go. All right. So you're obviously ready for tonight. You got your drink in hand. Well, you had one in hand. Uh, what are you most excited for? I'd say Halsey and, and Lady Annabella because that's not two people I would have put together. When I saw that, I was like, huh. Um, but, I mean, Lady Annabella is amazing. Halsey's amazing. You put them together, why not? And then Pink and Stapleton, I think, will be pretty nuts, too. Well, Halsey's been so fun. I mean, she just had that collaboration with Kelsey Ballerini, you oh, know, for CMT. Didn't know CMT that. Crossroads. I know, they're, I know they're pals, so that, that's yeah. cool. Um, Kelsey's awesome. Right. I mean, it's, it's just cool, man. You see so many people you don't see all the time. I mean, even my manager, I don't see him that much because yeah. um, he's doing his stuff and I'm doing mine. And, uh, so you, got, you put us all in one room together and, and – uh, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I've seen Jordan Davis, uh, him and I toured together. Ryan Hurd, him and I toured together. Yeah. Um, last night I saw Cole Swindell. I hadn't seen him in a minute. So it's, uh, it's a good good reunion. And then we all, like tonight, I'm going back on the road. So. Yeah. Is there anyone, um, you know, who's like a crazy partier who you just love to hang out with, you know, on your own time? Um, I, I've always liked John Party. John and I have always been real close. We, we he has out. that last name for a reason. Yes. Yeah, we we elk hunted together a couple of years ago in, in Montana. I love John. There's another guy who's not a crazy party who I love hanging out with that I just got to spend a lot of time with, Brantley Gilbert. Love it. Brantley and I are just cut from the same cloth, same type of guy, and we didn't know that until this week. I mean, we, we were on a cruise ship together for four days. You learn a lot of, about each other. So Brantley's an awesome guy. And then, yeah, I, I, Ryan Hurd, man. I love Ryan, too. Yeah. Ryan's sitting over there just – he just sits there and kind of just watches Marin do her thing with his arms like this crossed, and and he's just, he's a stud doing yeah. it though. He owns it, and, and uh, he's just a he's an awesome artist. and knows right. Uh, Michigan for the winter. Yeah. If you don't know that song, go check it out by Ryan Hurd. It's 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 awesome. Yeah. Tell everyone what you got going on right now. Yeah, I've got uh, well, Lonely Few Hours a single. Yeah. It's following Eyes on You, which was a two week number one, so it has big big shoes to fill. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's uh, that's rolling into. We're gonna start putting out a couple songs here and there this fall. Just kind of more acoustic versions of what's gonna come in January. We're gonna put out seven songs. I think seven. Don't hold me to it. But it's gonna be half the record. Okay. Look um, out for that. Call it the album part one. I don't know what we're gonna okay. call it yet. But um, we're gonna put out half the record in January, and then um, and then keep rolling. And it's all based on Lonely If You Are. Whenever that hits, you know, peaks and hopefully goes number one, second number one. Um, then we'll put out the, the second half of the record. I know this isn't your first rodeo here, but do you ever remember like sitting back at home on the couch mm -hmm. or in a bar watching the CMA Awards? Man, it's been a minute. It was the yeah. 44th CMA Awards. I was in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's crazy. Um, I was in Charlotte, North Carolina watching the CMA Awards, like thinking that I'm starting to consider really moving to Nashville and, and writing songs. And I didn't think of it as I want to be on the awards. I just... Mm -hmm. It just, I saw the artist and I was like, cause I moved here to be a songwriter originally. And it was like, that's where I should be, man. I want to be there tonight and here we are. So and I've, I've done a few of these now. Um, we've got a lot of work left to do, but it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Pretty cool to see a full circle. It's, it's awesome. Yeah, you, I'm glad you asked that. Cause it really takes it back. I remember where I was sitting. I remember what I was, what it, you know, it was Rascal Flatts played this something on this show. And I remember just thinking like, God, man, I need, I need to be there. So, and here we are. And here you are. It's yep. amazing how far you've come. Long, long way we, yeah, I was, I mean, when I moved to town, I was terrible. Yeah. I was yeah. just being real. I was just not I a good artist. It. I was not a good writer. And a long, a lot of, a lot of stuff yeah. has happened. So I'm enjoying music more than I ever have. I'm more focused on music than I ever have. And I think January is going to show that with, with what we put out. You're your own worst critic, I guess. But I always We have love been. what you're doing. We love what you're doing. Well, now, it's, now I'm not doing. saying it's terrible. <laughs> Lonely if you are, eyes on you. Yeah. That's the best stuff I've ever put out. But I really believe that that's the beginning of my career. That's exciting. All right. Well, have so much fun tonight. you got to get back to that drink. I know. He says, give me that back. Yeah. You look great in red. Thank you so much.